New tonight, the Spotsylvania County Public Schools is expected to adopt a new policy that will impact transgender students. Yeah, this is something that's happening all across Virginia. At this hour, the school board's still trying to make their way through the agenda ahead of the vote. Sierra Fox is live tonight in Fredericksburg with the latest, and it's still going on at this hour. Good evening, Jim and Sharon. That's exactly right. And there's a lot of discourse. This meeting is now going on its fifth hour. The public comment was chaotic, to say the least, from the yelling and screaming and even tears. And of course, people speaking out both for and against this new controversial policy. Emotions running high during the Spotsylvania County Public School Board meeting. We, we, if you let me finish right now, Dr. Daniels, ask them to tone it down. Okay, okay I'm security person. person. Even with all the distractions and commotion, this new policy called ensuring privacy, dignity, and respect for all students is expected to pass with a majority supporting it, but that's not happening without differing opinions. I find it really ironic that the name of this policy mentions ensuring respect when all it does is disrespect these students. A high school junior, Jackson Hunley, is worried these implemented rules will have a negative effect on transgender students. Certainly be to the detriment of transgender students. It will worsen their mental health. Part of the new policy includes school staff referring to students by the name and pronouns that match the sex on their official record. However, a different name and pronouns can be used if the child or their parent write a letter to officials. Spotsylvania County Public Schools Chief of Staff says this adds clarity. It's a good policy. It's sound. It's a... Uh takes away any ambiguity that exists within the schools and, and places parental rights at the forefront of, uh, of policy and decision making and, and how staff and teachers interact with uh, students. School programs, events and extracurricular activities like sports that are typically separated by male and female will continue to be determined by sex and not gender or gender identity. The same goes for bathrooms and locker rooms. Spotsylvania County resident Lori Shemensky believes that's appropriate. I think we need to protect the safety of the students more than the feelings of the students. Back in July, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin released a statement saying in part, the Department of Education has delivered policies that empower parents, prohibit discrimination, create a safe and vibrant learning environment by addressing bullying incidents immediately. And with these decisions, please remember in November. His model policy calls for parents to not only be involved, but be at the head of the table. You want to be a part of those conversations when they're curious, when they're... Um, sad when they're depressed. Again, the school board meeting is still happening now here in Spotsylvania County. Jim and Sharon, I'll have another live report coming up at 11, of course, staying ahead with Fox 5 to bring you the latest developments.